There's a knock at your door. It turns out to be an unexpected salesperson. One of your first thoughts might be, how can I trust this person? Are they a legitimate business person? Or are they a scammer? Now more than ever, measures are in place to ensure the salesperson at your door is there making an honest living, doing business legally and ethically. Every industry and every line of work has its bad apples though. So how can you tell the difference between a legitimate professional at your door versus that rare scammer? Here are a couple of easy tips. A legitimate salesperson will carry and show their identification and credentials. They'll have a business license or permit on hand if one is required by local ordinance. They will have registered their business and contact info with the local authorities. They'll clearly share the business name and product brands. They'll respect the resident's right to end the visit at any time. They'll explain what the consumer is buying and clearly walking them through the order form, contract, or receipt. They'll share the contact information of the business or company they represent. They'll explain the terms and conditions of refunds and cancellations. And they'll have a relationship with an organization of accountability, such as the Better Business Bureau, the FTC, or Direct Selling Association. Thanks to local ordinances, police departments, and social media, door-to-door -door scammers are much less common now than they've ever been. However, some still pop up from time to time, trying to make a quick buck. Here are a few simple guidelines to keep in mind. Always be cautious of a salesperson who has an emotional personal story, a trip incentive, or anything help me attached to what they say. You're the potential customer. They should be seeking to help you, not themselves. Ask to see their permit or business license from the city or county officials. Ask to see that they have exchanged business information with the local police or sheriff. Scammers never proactively exchange personal or business contact info with the police. A professional direct salesperson will be happy to show you their proof of credibility. Ask about the company rating with the Better Business Bureau or affiliation with a third party organization of professional accountability. Ask specifics about their refund and cancellation policy, something governed by the FTC. Ask about payment options. If it's upfront cash only, that's a red flag. Don't feel like you have to let a salesperson inside your home if it makes you feel uneasy. A conversation or transaction outdoors is completely fine if it makes you feel more comfortable. Don't be afraid to do business with someone who knocks on your door just because of a stigma, internet rumor, or an isolated incident being portrayed as common occurrence. If something doesn't feel right, don't make assumptions, ask about it. Remember, any line of work can be corrupted and done the wrong way, or can help people if done the right way. Never give up believing in the good intentions of others. 